Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to a very special uh, episode of Apniki Jane where we are looking at and trying to educate ourselves about what it means to be deaf, uh, deafness in itself. And we have Ali Shara Charity here today who are trying to help us understand more about deafness. Also, they are here to speak about their flagship event, the Deaf Run, which takes place this Saturday and how they try and raise deaf awareness through this amazing venture. Alhamdulillah, so I'm a very special show. I'm going to present the Quran. I'm going to say that the Bible is not a good thing. I'm going to say that the Islam is not a good thing. I'm going to say that the charity is not a good thing. I'm going to say that the Bible is not a good thing. I'm going to say that the Bible is not a good thing. I'm going to say that the Bible is not so before the break, we had a Nasheed uh, in sign language. We've got another live performance from uh, the Ali Shara Nasheed uh, group. And uh, we have some senior sisters who will do a different Nasheed. Praise be to Allah, the King of Kings. Show us the way, praise be. 
Mashallah, that was an amazing performance from our sisters, uh, Nasheed in sign language. Now, what I want you to try and once again reflect, and I think, imagine if you walked in and your sound was on mute, okay, and you saw that, and you didn't know what they were saying, the person who was singing, what he was singing, how would that make you feel? Ask yourself. That is the day-to-day -day reality of a person who is deaf or hard of hearing. They find it very difficult. And Ali Shara Charity, who have joined us today, they worked tirelessly to try and educate people about deaf awareness. They tr work with the deaf community try to try and teach them about Islam, try and teach them about life and why it is important to understand the importance of uh, worshipping their Creator. Alhamdulillah, um, performance, sign language. Sentaria de Ocap, Narazo de Nasquebla, TV on Horta, our sound work with Tona, our Hale Ishara de Adeta Manche Matra, Afnara Kila Laglone, Afnarekta Balaglone, Hene, Afnara Kuchu Buzlanone, Afnara Hulone, Iki, Manche Television Ikita Horer. But Amra Baibuna and Zehun Tafaro in Natara de Ola Life. Amra Baizun Amar Saide de Adnan Bai, Rain Hun Tafarina. Our own performance Ola Oatasil, Tainan in Tansok, Nanifura, Octar Mazena, Nikila Tarahora, Hene. So, Ishara, Tain Buzra. So, Tain Zuzin Nani Blata, Ishara Balatike Saina, Tain Kijin Shkor, Ikta Bustanai. So, Alhamdulillah, Alishara Charity, Tara, Amra Bonent Nashid Horso, and Tara Hurutain Tezela Nashid Ikta Faroin, Tara Nani, Ikta Ninjo Hortaro, and Tara Lagin Horso. So, Alhamdulillah, we had Brother Adnan, who I will introduce very soon. And he was literally glued onto the screen uh, as the sisters were doing the performance. Because for him who can't hear, uh, you know, being able to see that sign, every single sign individually, just like when I speak, every single word that I'm saying that you're trying to understand, for him, every single sign is equally that important. And this is what Al Ishara Charity do. They try and break things down for our deaf brothers and sisters so they too don't lose out in theme, in life. Okay, and inshallah, you know, we'll learn more about uh, Ali Shara and the deaf run and why it's important for everyone to attend and celebrate deafness together uh, in this segment. Now, on my right, uh, Mafuz, welcome back. Hi. Okay, um, if I start off with, so tell me, okay, the, y there's an award ceremony that yeah. takes place within uh, the actual uh, show, yeah. okay, the Deaf Run event itself. And there's other things that happen. But tell me, in terms of preparation for an event of this magnitude, okay, how, many, how long does it take to actually try and organize? And how hard is it? Um, Dev, I'll talk about Deaf Run. And preparing Deaf for Deaf Run, it's, you know how we say Deaf Run take on the challenge? The challenge begins def before death run. Okay. So as in we have a team in place and we have quite a few volunteers. We're all giving our time out of feasibility. And majority, majority, of majority, of majority of people are volunteers. Yeah. Majority okay. are volunteers and wow. they come together. They're about six, seven months prior to the event wow. itself. Preparation starts there. We pick a day and we work towards it. How, what kind of challenges do you find in working with people, you know, uh, the colleagues who are deaf or hard of yeah. hearing? Again, it's... The first thing is that barrier, the communication barrier you find. As in, for us to effectively communicate with our deaf brothers and sisters, we need that, an interpreter sure. for SARS. And w if you don't have an interpreter, we're doing other form of ishara. It's not BSL, sure, sure. but it's signing. And it's like there's a lot of um, information lost in translation. Mm. So again, so you have, um, because of this poor communication system, you lose out on things and you find a task not being completed or a task not done the way it was meant to be done. Sure. So th those things, but alhamdulillah, you it get gets there. done. Mashallah. It gets done. Mashallah, that's amazing. Um, brother Adnan, who is the second member of, I guess I could call the red team. Okay, we're talking about de uh, <laughs> death run with all the challenges, okay? So um, how long have you taken part in death run? Yeah. Four years. MashaAllah, wow. I was in Deaf Run. Okay. And have you ever ran at the run? Or would you like Brother Suel walk in? No, I actually you, ran. You, you ran. Okay, <laughs> MashaAllah. Three or four years in a row, I actually ran. MashaAllah. I still haven't won yet, but <laughs> let's see. The, the future will tell, hopefully. But I think it's about taking part, not winning. 
Okay. All right. Um, I'll move over to our black team. Okay. Uh, comprising of Jamil and Atiku. Okay. So Jamil, uh, you tell me you're you're a volunteer for Alishara. You both are. Yep. Okay. And what made you want to volunteer with Alishara? And also, the deaf run. Talk about you know what is special about the deaf run. Um, I'll go with your first question first. Uh, what made you want to take part in Ali with Alishara? Um, it was introduced to me five years ago as we're celebrating the fifth anniversary yep. this time around. Um, it was during year 11, I was approached by a senior member of Ali Shara and he requested like we should take part. It was, and um, for me, my personal gain was it would look good on my CV. And back then, I was a bit like skeptical whether to do it or sure. not because I didn't know much about but the I like that honesty, mashallah. Yeah. Okay? Because when you're in year 11, you're thinking, yeah. what looks good on my CV? Yeah, we were. Okay. And um, then, because I thought about it, like we're always yeah. studying, we're young students, yeah. we're always studying, so sometimes you have to give back to the community, mm. and this was a way of giving back to the community. Sure. And obviously the first event, DEFRON 2012, that was the first time I was out on the field, you know, okay. actually plays taking an event, yeah. taking part in an event. And I myself, and with other colleagues from the school as well, we were, our first duty was we were actual posts during the run. <laughs> so with, before taking part, we were navigating people which way to oh, go. Okay. So, so you guys were literally like posts yeah, yeah, yeah. directing <laughs> people where to go. Yeah? We, did, we didn't want people going off course into some next. Like, so if know. someone went off track, what would you do? Uh, they did know because like, every corner there was always someone see, situated. Uh, you know, you always have someone in our community trying it. <laughs> Let's, see. Let's see how good security is. I think, I don't know. Ushering them to the we right We haven't way. had that problem yet, but okay, if that did mashallah. arise. Um, then that's the strength of you guys doing such a good job. Yeah. Now, Atiku, um, what about for yourself? But I think there are a lot of people at home watching this show. I'm not going to the show. Is there anything wrong with doing it for your CV? Say there's so many good charities out there doing some amazing work. Is there anything wrong with doing it for, your, uh, for the CV? Did yeah. you do it for the CV? I think initially, if I talk from a personal point of view, I think I was quite um, naive and had a premature, selfish, like youthful take on it. And I yeah. thought it looked good on my CV. Um, but then working for the charity as we move for five years, you learn about the ethos and the principles sure. and the goals of the um, charity itself. Yeah. And you kind of mature and realize there is more to it than its That's CV. Right. And that is um, renewing your intentions, doing it for the sake of Allah. Yeah. And then you realize that there is a lot of barakah in it. Mm. And then comes with it mm. the stuff that you can put in your CVs. Yeah. Um, Obviously, that comes with the barakah, isn't it? Sure. Um, but but yeah, totally. There's nothing wrong with it. But always, yeah. I think you have to, you do have to renew your intention when you're working yeah. for a charity, mm -hmm. in the sense that you do it for the sake of Allah Subhanahu mm -hmm. Taala. Now, there's so many youngsters uh, like yourselves, younger mm -hmm. than yourselves, uh, who might be watching today and thinking, well, that's a brilliant opportunity. I'm in year 11. I've just finished my exam. Or I'm at college. I've finished my exams. Okay. I'd like to volunteer. What would they do in a situation like that? Um, if they wanted to volunteer, I'd say get in touch with the. There's yeah, still spaces if anyone was watching There's always now. spaces for volunteers. Spaces there's never, volunteers. There's never like it's going to be full because if you want to give back to the community or volunteering, I'm pretty sure there's always different roles that you're mm. not always stuck with the same role. There's a variety of things that go on the day and you just have to be open to like roles coming at you because you could sure. be doing something and someone could tell you to cover something else. And tell me this, you know, now especially, you know, sometimes in the media, you know, there's negative portrayal, yeah. uh, you know, uh, British Bangladeshis, we, we don't contribute enough okay sometimes that is the argument that comes across okay uh, how would you how do you think the deaf run challenges those kind of stereotypical uh, arguments i think it completely um, shows that the media can sometimes be biased yeah. um, and it, sh it portrays the completely different opposite side of what the media has to say in a sense that n just saying that um, our volunteer group is not just our made up of bengalis made up uh, it's quite a multicultural group really? um, but i think yeah. us coming from a bengali background we're showing that we are taking on something back, uh, taking something on. A big thing like deaf awareness is such a small niche, and we've taken on that board to um, raise awareness about it. Um, and and I think together, we're doing pretty well, yeah. That unity that we come yeah. together, and, and obviously the deaf run is not just about the Bengali community, it's about all communities coming together, like yeah. we spoke before. Okay, now, Mahfuz, really quickly, um, tell me, uh, why should people watching at home, what is it about the deaf run that they should come and watch? What kind of things are on show? Well, I'd like to start with saying Def Run, this kind of event. Very briefly. Have this, wait, this kind of event, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be as brief as I can, but it's difficult. Um, this kind of event doesn't happen anywhere else in the country. It's one of a kind, where the deaf community and the hearing community come together and they do various challenges. There's a run, there's the children's zone. We've got um, Chuckles the Clown, Sparky the Stilt Man, okay. and we've got Ali the Deaf Bear as well. Is that for the adults or for the children? You know what, it's for both. <laughs> both okay. I think everyone will enjoy it. Okay. And then you've got also the inflatable challenges. We've got wonderful challenges. We've even got Adult Bouncer Castle. How many attractions, how many inflatable challenges are there? We've got about um, 
seven, six this year, wow. right? And how many? And you've got the tug of war. We've got also the tug of war competition. The hot wings challenge. Hot wings challenge. Okay, and a ceremony, ceremony to celebrate. We've also got old school um, sports day challenges, also like your egg and spoon race and your three legged race, so something like to bring back. It's quite nostalgic. Yeah. Going it's so that uh, you know, uh, slightly older audiences, yeah. if they're feeling left out, you know, there's something yeah. for everyone. Exactly. Okay, brilliant. Now, brother Adnan. Okay, tell me why the w audience watching at home, why they should come to the Deaf Run. What is it that's so amazing about the Deaf Run? It's a really good opportunity. It's a fantastic opportunity as well to see the Deaf community and hearing community linked together as well. And they can also learn about unity and being together. Wow, okay. Now, as we come to the end of the show, um, it's, it's been very enlightening in the sense that we've learnt a lot about the purpose behind the Deaf Run. The Deaf Run is not just about people coming together having fun, it's about raising Deaf awareness. Okay, uh, so I will ask uh, really quickly a um, few words why someone should come to the Deaf Run Mahfuz, just in a couple of words, a few words. Okay, it if you had to sum it up. It'll be an experience you'll never forget. Brilliant. But uh, Adnan, a few words why come to the Deaf Run? Come to you guys next. <laughs> It's something that you would have never seen before and it's a great challenge. Okay. Atiko? It's a fun filled day full of rewards. Okay, it's a few extra words but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family fun day and you see people smiling and your children will be more aware of the diff. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> now just to uh, f finally close uh, this show, it's been amazing and I think I'm empowered. Okay, I feel motivated and I'm sure the, you know, our brothers and sisters watching at home, I'm sure you're probably, if you're not, then I'm a bit worried, okay? You should be thinking, look, I need to sign up for this, I need to be part of this, I need to be part of this British Bangladeshi event where we unite, we come together, okay? And our guests have done an amazing job in coming, educating us about why this is so important. Okay, and we've had our BSL live performances, Nasheed performances with the, the, the youth group and the adult group. They've done an amazing job. We had the Adhan, okay, that was signed in BSL, which has never been done before. We've had a historical show because we've had a live interpreter, Sister Maya, who's done an amazing job trying to sign, okay, so that our he deaf brothers and sisters at home who can't hear, they can actually engage and participate in the show and see what it's about. So just to kind of uh, summarize and end, this is, you know, I'm empowered. I'm hoping that, you know, we can get a team here at Channel S to come down and take part because that's what it's about. If you're sitting at home and you're thinking, I want to do something for the deaf community, okay, nationally, come down to the event, take part because you're doing your bit. Alhamdulillah, I'm not sure, uh, very, Sheshu is that, but I've not that. Alhamdulillah, Skali Shara Charite, Amra Re, and then Mati Soin, Khene Amra Do Rosaita. Dorogele amra bai bonante ze hun tafaro na hun te khosto e tarare shay johoro taloge milor afnara sinta ore de oka afnara khoydin manche ze hun tafaro na taloge miloi taloge matoi so the ekto khub a special opportunity so please do take part okay raise deaf awareness even if you can't go to the uh, event raise deaf awareness learn more about deaf awareness so that we can work in unity together and you know flourish as a community thank you for watching and uh, inshallah stay safe assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh